Hey friends. Hey, I wanted to make you aware of something that I do that's unique when it comes to having my finger right on the uh, leading edge or pulse of the market. Uh, and in case you found this video online, I'm Gary Nims. I'm with Windermere Real Estate. Uh, in 2018, I was talking with a real estate analyst about another way to watch the market. And I'm always trying to provide the best service and advice to my clients. So um, the MLS has some amazing tools and then add all of the tools that I have available to, available to me with Windermere. Um, it's remarkable how many market dials and screens and trending gauges that I have available to me. But I noticed that a lot of the tools that I have available to me, um, they track data on a monthly basis. And by the time you get that data, um, it's oftentimes five weeks old or longer. So there wasn't anything out there right on the leading edge. So I started tracking a very simple metric that's not captured on a weekly basis by any of the resources that I could find out there. I talked to brokerages, the Northwest Multiple Listing Service. Uh, there was a marketing tracking organization called Trend Graphics. They provide phenomenal data for us realtors, um, but no one did what I'm about to show you on a weekly basis. But before I show you, I'll tell you, the idea is really simple. Um, if you imagine a pond and you imagine that that pond has an inlet where water comes in and an outlet where water goes out. Um, so imagine there's a house floating on that stream and it enters into the pond. And here it is in the pond. Now I wanted to look at it when it enters the pond or I wanted to see how many homes entered the pond. And then I wanted to see how many homes exited the, the pond. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to look at is, is price points. Price points work differently. And that's because most people, when they shop for homes, before any other criteria, they look at price. They ask their lender what they qualify for, and then they go on and they purchase something in their budget. So if you ever remember being a kid and you're laying on the grass in your front lawn and you're looking up at the sky. Now, most of the time I know we don't do that anymore. We are looking down at our phones, but <laughs> if you were a kid and you were doing that, you would notice that there were some clouds that were going along like this and there'd be other clouds way up high and they might be doing something different. I'm not a meteorologist, but I just want to make that illustration that those are like price points. Homes in different price points operate differently from each other pretty often. So um, I'm watching prices move differently and I'm watching them almost in real time. So I set up these searches. I started tracking just the simple flow of homes coming into the market and I began to graph it. Now I'm going to share the screen with you and show you. So like, for example, I look at a particular area. Now this is King County and I have some other trackers that I use, but this one's King County and I'm looking at price points between 1.5 and 1.7, for example. Now I looked at the beginning of the year and at the beginning of the year is always uh, kind of like a starting block the first couple of weeks. But after that, things get rolling. And I notice not near as many houses coming on the market as there are going under contract. And these are fresh actives in the last seven days that are coming onto the market. These are homes that are going under contract. So there's 12 here. There's three down here in this third week of January. And so we had this huge, <clears throat> crazy seller's market because when you have more people out buying, you could think of the green line as buyers. You could think of the blue line as sellers. When we have more people out buying than we have selling, we have a really strong seller's market. Um, and I'll, I'll give you an illustration of the data here. Like, let's take, let's take March here. This is where the, the graphs will come from. The red represents a seller's market, basically. Yellow represents a balanced market, where the power is balanced between the sellers and the buyers. 
Um, now I look at this price point, this really means there's just hardly any data here. There's not many homes in King County that are selling below 400,000. I mean, heck, there's not very many homes selling below 500. So when I look at, I come down here to April and I notice oh, strong seller's market. Oh, is there something happening above 3 million? Eh, I'm not sure. Happening in May, oh, look at these numbers. Now I'm starting to see a, a balance of power between buyer and seller. I'm seeing the buyers having a little bit of strength um, and, and, and a little shift of power here. Now I look into June, wow, look at what's happening here. We really have a shift. Now, this tool has really been helpful for me to be able to track uh, some of those shifts and track the front of the market. So you'll see another example. Um, here's a great example of two and a half million to three million. And oh my, what happened um, just in, in April? In April, we started to really feel it. And then here in June, we've got more uh, properties coming on the market than are going than are selling. So you look at this June first week. Uh, the ratios are very far apart. Only six selling, and I got thirty two coming on the market. So the thing that I want to stress is this isn't really a it's not a predictive tool, but it's a really good visual that supports um, uh, what a really successful and active realtor might be feeling in the market as he's going, touring homes, writing contracts, selling homes. Um, and so after a few years, I figured I should probably tell my clients what, what I do <laughs> to try to offer the best advice possible. Actually, um, I hire my assistant to run all these numbers after we've gotten so, so busy serving our clients. But it's just one more way I'm trying to look out for you and provide you the best hyper-local real estate advice possible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.